Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Hilarious Bee Show, this is Hillary. I want to do a little bit of change of pace from the path, because as much as I love it, it kind of gets under my skin, it's very creepy. So, I've already recorded, at the time I'm speaking right now, I've already recorded, recorded um, playing as Rose and going through to her wolf, and by the time I've uploaded this, I probably will have already uploaded that, but I'm going to play... One of my favorite games from middle school, from like circa the year 2000, uh, which is Creatures 3. Um, it's part of a franchise of virtual pet alien games, for lack of a better phrase to describe them. I did not play, well, I, I've since played a bit of Creatures 1 and Creatures 2. Um, but Creatures 3 was my first introduction and my absolute favorite. I uh, downloaded from GOG a version that is kind of a combo pack of Creatures 3 and Creatures Exodus, which is kind of an expansion pack for Creatures 3. So I'm going to create a new world, and I'm going to show you what Creatures 3 is all about. I have these two old, world, old worlds that I vaguely remember making a couple years ago when I kind of got back into Creatures 3, but I'm going to start with a brand new world. And I am going to go with a tradition that I started in middle school where I name our world Crystal Tokyo after the uh, year 3000 uh, kingdom of Sailor Moon, Crystal Tokyo. And I also um, name my creatures after Sailor Moon characters. Or the Norns, anyway, because that's the kind of nerd I am. But I'll, well, I'll, get, I'll get into, like, explaining, in case you're not familiar with the Creatures franchise, what all the different species of creature are, and how weird this is. But basically, I'll just read this, I'm sorry. Welcome to Creatures 3. You are about to begin your world, Crystal Tokyo. You can choose to start with a pair of pre-trained starter Norns, or you can be taken to the egg-laying machine. You can hatch eggs to breed and train your own Norns. And Norns are um, these little guys. Uh, there are two other species of creature on this ship, but Norns are the main ones, and um, they're the ones I'm going to focus on in this playthrough. Please make your choice from the two buttons below. I prefer to start with my own eggs and, like, you know, train them from birth. That's just how I do things. Though, so I'm gonna do something a bit unconventional. If you if you put them in storage, they don't grow, or at least I think. And I'm doing that because I want to show you guys around a little bit. Um, so Norns are quite intelligent. They're mostly very friendly and expressive. There are a lot of different breeds, um, as you can see. This uh, expansion, so the, the original ones from Creatures 3 are the Bengal, Bruin, and Civet, and the Expressive are, um, I believe, from the expansion Creatures Exodus, I want to say, though my, and um, females are default, they're also the male designs for each breed are a bit different. And then um, the expansion also introduces the Fallow Norns, which are designed to look like deer. The Harlequin Norns, which look like Harlequins. Uh, Magma Norns, which look like they just came out of a volcano. Uh, I think there are a couple others that you can get if you play Creatures Exodus, but... This is the living space for the Norns. It's got all sorts of animals in it, other animals, and there's lots of food. There was just a little pouch of seeds that just plopped out of that tree. And it's very beautiful. Mm -hmm. I was always very excited by the um, uh, the graphics on this game. I thought they were pretty good. There are toys for them. There's food, there's some cheese. So it's very fun and interactive. And if you go in here, this is a learning room where they learn basic speech. They do have uh, their own little language, sort of, and you can tell them what to do. Um, they don't always listen to you, but you can kind of learn their speech. I, I'm rusty on it, but I vaguely remember it. This is the crypt when, you know, you have creatures that live through their life cycle and die, which they will. Um, a record is recorded of... Oh, I'm going to pick up... 
This is a health scanner object. And it's very useful oh. to pick it up. So this tram that we're in is is one of is only one of many on this ship. There's one through here. This is the Grendel Terrarium, and it is much more uh, forbod forbidding, foreboding, and jungle-like. There are bugs that'll sting you. There's a piranha pit, and um, this is the home of the Grendels. And the Grendels are more lizardy, and they're more violent, and they will try to kill your norms. I don't feel like any Grendels have been hatched yet. And so I'm going to be keeping an eye on this terrarium. So on the bridge here, you can see there are doorways to each of the terrariums here. I think they might be called World. No, they're not called World. It's the near kid. This is where the Etans live. They're like... They're kind of like the Norns in that they're vaguely... I guess ape-like? But they live in a desert world, and they're all brown, and they have really prominent behinds. They're very- oh, well, there's one! One is alive! Hi! So... At this Can point- Yeah, hey! <laughs> That's how you re um, reward um, creatures that are being good, and you can also slap devil butts, and you can see there's a little devil horn. Um... I currently don't have control of the Eddins. I only have control of the Norns. Actually, I should probably let my Norns be born because I will need their help to gain control of the rest of the ship. It's been a little while since I played this. Forget the fact that you really do need your Norns mm -hmm. early on, and you guys will see why. Okay, so here's the birth of our first Norn. She's a female. I'm going to name her in my Sailor Moon naming scheme, Serenity. And I'm gonna get her to miss me. Use this elevator to get up. Um, yeah, you really want to play with this thing. Why don't you get in the elevator? Um. Later on, I should be able to do things like uh, play with someone to make them to stop or like actual children. Um, you get the hell in here, no? And so I need to teach her to speak. And that's what this machine does. And here's our boy. Hey, what's up? Name him Endymion. Okay. Okay, I think that's... Get, get the hell over here. Now, I need to find their little activator things around the ship. And I need to teach the Norns how to turn them on. There's one. Okay. Oh, this gadget. Eh. This gadget is also very useful. Okay, and you know what? I'm also gonna get Andy Mian. Or I'm not gonna do anything with him because he fell asleep. Um, eventually, I will get Andy Mian to learn basic words. And that machine only tells the most basic. No, sorry, on your mission is more important. Get. Actually, I need to go to this. No, you get over here. Okay. Good! So I want to get them to push those things. And then that means that certain functions are now open for me to manipulate. Push tool. Yes! Good. Being very useful. Um, I need to switch over. There we go. Unfortunately, I need to bring her into a very dangerous place full of disease because. There are tools in here that she needs to push. Oh, actually, this is how useful, too. Because this will tell them all of the vocabulary in the entire thing. Oh, and I should not have slapped her. That was accidental. Oh, there's a fucking Etienne over here. 
The reason I'm not crazy about Etons, even though I have um, trained and bred them at other times, is because... Oh great, she's asleep. They just can be carriers for disease, um, which is inconvenient for me because I want my Norns to stay healthy. Uh, okay. And I fucked up. Well, not entirely. Do it. Oh, fuck. That's a Grendel egg. Shit. Put the Grendel eggs underwater, they don't hatch. Okay, I should take her back. But actually, I, re I really need her to activate that one thing. I'm trying to remember what the other things I need to be activated. The one thing I'm trying to get her to activate on the upper level is important because when I have that, I will be able to control the Grendel's mountains more easily. Which I currently cannot do. The next most important one is one that allows you to pick up the creatures completely. Like, you right-click on them and you can, like, drag them all over instead of having to lead her everywhere. <sighs> I just hope she didn't get... A disease, because if she got, she could have very easily gotten sick from this. But actually, this game just like, there's no way that it will do what I need to do otherwise. This is what <laughs> happens when they learn all the words: is they start to say like really highly specific things. Where the fuck is it? No, it's the end of me and saying nonsense because he doesn't know how to speak. Okay. I'm just gonna check on Grendel eggs. See if there are any more, because this is like Grendel egg incubator. That's Grendel Mama. And she likes to just spit out those eggs. Uh where is the one that allows you to pick up the creatures? Cause that's what I need. What the hell is that? Etten? Was that a fucking attack? Yeah, okay, everything's fine. It might be in here. Oh, so this is like a aquarium type deal. Yeah, it is. It's in here. Which is a very hazardous place for it to be because you have to bring them underwater. And they could possibly drown. I've had creatures drown while doing it. So. I know, but you gotta, you gotta finish this. It's important. So I'm gonna bring it into me and I'll wish it to the aquarium. There. You're really- ooh, gone. Huh? This is why- okay, you can eat the cheese. Eat the cheese, but then we have to go. Uh-huh. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Let's go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh-huh. Okay. So I'm gonna give him a practice run of sort. No. Practice one of sorts, because I think there's another one in here. Yeah. That's not as dangerous. And then I will have him go under. Do not push that door. Do not push that door. Alright. Yeah. Don't play with that. I don't want you to play with that. I played this game long enough that I know their proclivities. No, no. No, 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 no. Oh my god, really? Is this really what we're doing right now? Oh, you can do that one too. No, I mean, no. No, no. I don't really care. Alright. Do it. Just freaking do it, man. Uh huh. Oh, that's, that's a fucking Grendel. That's a motherfucking Grendel. I don't want to deal with your shit, so. You guys are gonna hate me for this, but. That's how we do it. Uh huh. And then because, of course, I've signed on to being a. 
Do you understand push? You got push, right? Maybe didn't get it. I don't know, what's it? That was a fail mission. Uh...